is Christopher Tolkien. Approximately 300,000 pounds of plastic is dumped into the Pacific Ocean every nine minutes. Can someone please tell me how large the patch is located? Next. Kyle? You asked. How about 20 miles? Close. It's actually about 50,000 miles. <laughs> I knew you knew you knew that you knew that I know, but anyway, um, and it will quadruple in size by the year 2050. So mark your calendars. Um, there are two possible solutions. One is the called the ocean cleanup, and there the uh, gyre on the right hand side is that what this ocean cleanup is resolving to clean up. And um, the, the second attempt was made on October 2nd because the wind and the ocean currents were too fast for the plastic bottles to, to be recovered. And this man that's doing it is like only 25 years old and he's putting a lot of effort into this and he's got about 80 people uh, helping him do that. The second attempt, the second thing I want to talk about is called the slide, next, 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 that's the, oh, oh that red part is the uh, Pacific Gar uh, Garbage Patch, next. Mm -hmm. And that is the vessel that they use to recover, hopefully recover, the plastic bottles in the ocean. Next. 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 The second item I want to talk about, the second attempt to uh, stop plastic bottles in the recovery section of the Pacific Ocean is a man called David Katz. And if you look at his TED Talks you, from YouTube, you'll see that the, he first starts off his lectures by saying, if you're in, living in, if you're in the living room and you're splashing and you walk into the kitchen and the uh, faucet is on and over, the sink is overflowing, what is the first thing you do? Does anyone have any ideas? Turn off the water. Turn off the water. Yes, exactly, Kara turn off the water. And so he's precluding the plastic bottles from getting into the ocean by sending up these green collection centers. This one is in Haiti. And the people collect plastic for about a dollar a pound, which is a lot more than they're paid for uh, per day. And they give it for either cell phone usage or, as you can see, vegetables and other food items and water also and so uh, the next so slide uh, next slide and that's then the picture of the plastic bag and their collection center next slide <coughs> next slide so the one of the solutions is to make if you look at the bottom slide there you can see the what the recycled plastic from the ocean goes to be made, like in terms of um, corporations. Henkel, uh, a German company, is doing it, is uh, collecting this plastic waste. And also Lush Cosmetics is also collecting plastic waste and making new packages for themselves, for customers. Um, I've also included Jimmy Panetta's phone number, which is um, A31. 429-1976. I've thought about having dissolving plastic water bottles, but that won't work because acetate only only dissolves certain plastic. So and also 
our, our friends in uh, Santa Cruz County can use plastic water bottles if they say there's a ban on them or up to date is used on them. Finally, I'd like to end with a quote from A. Mill. A. Mill. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. I'm just not sure. Thank you.